Hey everybody, welcome back to Inner Skate Tips again. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to work on a vintage plane. So I never did this one before. I did some cars, but etc. But plane never did before. So basically the Tiger Mod plane, uh, as you know, is a vintage plane and which is going to be today's topic. So I would like to use uh, doing that only with a melted dark compound chocolate, as it is here, and uh, build one uh, very quickly in front of you, referring to my own design uh, plan, which I'm going to cut some templates from this. And but I refer also to that plan uh, when I'm doing it, refer to actual blueprint. So uh, if I want to follow this, which is quite possible, but it's going to be a quite a long tutorial, and it will be quite a sort of like a a lot of different methods which should be used. I don't even plan it yet, but I like to do this one because it's quite simple. It's just like a cardboard models, which people use, just uh, uh, cutting cardboards, put them together, glue them together. Say basically what we're going to do, we're going to melt the chocolate, uh, put it on the uh, flat sheet, let it set for a while so we can cut with the blade and then prepare all the pieces and join them together. We are living in a cul-de-sac with a very nice neighborhood. Uh, my good friend and neighbor, Don, has a birthday. So he's a, a real pilot. He flies uh, light airplanes in the past. And uh, apparently, I'm also a sim pilot. So we have, we have a lot of common things to talk about it and enjoy together the activities. So we sit down together sometimes uh, with my uh, simulator and then fly together and become like each other's pilot or, or, or first officer. So we enjoy that together. So I would like to do this chocolate plane for my good friend uh, Don and also sharing this tutorial with my good members. So these are the things what I need. I have two copies of the plan. One I'm going to cut templates out of it. Another one I take a photo and share with you. So I have a platform here, two platform and cellophane sheets to just to spread the chocolate on it and then uh, make sure that I can carry it to the fridge and come back easily. Uh, this cellophane sheets, it's very slippery and I will use some uh, water spray to secure them nicely. So I have some compound dark chocolate, which I believe 500 grams is more than enough. I didn't weigh this one. And I have a, a rubber scraper and then the big spoon to deal with chocolate. And I have a craft knife and then a little box cutter. And I need to have a, a banded uh, spatula. Uh, I need to use this for spreading chocolate nicely. Wet uh, cloth, uh, water spray, I said that. And the scissor to cut templates and the sticky tape to secure some plastic cones, like a cellophane sheet cones, to use it for gluing when we're assembling the pieces together. So, uh, I'd like to show you now uh, what to do with this one. So, when you print that uh, for yourself, uh, you see that I have here the, the top view of the plane, which has got a thick line and thin line. So, actually thick line to be cut out. And here also, there's a thick line inside, thin line outside. So, that is the inside line, the thick line has to be cut. Why I do that? Because we're going to use the top view is like this and then that side one comes underneath. So when you see that underneath we will have a little bit more oblong, a bit more long shape the body. So that's why I give two lines over here. It's not just like a cutting and joining. You have to also cut from the right place. So let me start doing that. Separate the pieces which is for a comfort. This thin paper is already good enough to put it on the chocolate and cut the right size. There's dots here. Uh, it shows where you put the, the joiners together between the upper and lower, lower ring. Anyway, so I'm going to continue doing that. I don't want to waste your time too much because it's a simple step. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you where, where to cut. So thick line here to cut that for the upper view, like that. And then for the side, I have to cut inside the thick line also to cut that. So what I do, I'm going to cut this one, uh, this one, and also this one as the upper piece. Uh, as you see over here, that is actually represent that flat piece goes on top first. And then I will cut some stripes, some thin stripes, and I'll, before I finish, I'll get back to you. So I'm almost there. So as you see that, I cut this one. I cut this out of this, it's here. All right, and then after that, I have um, that one. 
Uh, I remove also that part, which is the, the, the cockpit, and this one comes out. I don't worry about this, those lines because it can be cut only just long stripes and then cut it accordingly later on. And I don't need to cut also this one because if I take this one and folding into two like this, and it's exactly the same size. So that's already good enough. The only thing is the wheel holder has a kind of like a, a structure which has got uh, only lines. There's the center part has to be taken out. So that's what I do. This one is ready. You can also use, of course, some wooden board that you don't damage your table. All right, this is ready. So now it's time to melt the chocolate and get back to you. Basically, compound chocolate, you don't have to temper, but there is still uh, the best way to do it. If, when you put this chocolate into microwave, do not melt 100%. So you must have still, when you take it out, some unmelted pieces inside, so that the unmelted pieces has to be continue melting with the, with the heat of the melted chocolate. Or if you put it too long, it's big chocolate becomes a, sort of like too, uh, there's nothing left inside, so unmelted. You add a handful of chocolate inside, again, just melt it down with the warm part of the chocolate. So that makes it like a good kind of result. Quickly gets set, so it's got also shine on it. So I'm gonna mix this one now until everything melts. You see that there's pieces inside. I'm gonna mix further uh, till everything melted. Okay, melts everything nicely. I can see from the sort of shade reflection, I can see nothing is left in there unmelted. All right, now what we do, we take the platform. You can usually use any kind of tray. So I use this one because I have it in the hand. So spray just a one squirt of water and put this over here. It doesn't move around, nice and secure. All right, this here. Uh, I use about two minutes to melt this chocolate. So one minute first, and then after 30 seconds, I mix a little bit, put it back again, 30 seconds. So it was almost everything melting. So I just add a little bit more also chocolate inside and continue the mixing. So uh, I like to make it not so thin, All right? So one and a half is little. Make sure there's no chocolate on the top. So we will wait till the chocolate start getting set. So uh, when it's not happening in expected time, you put in the fridge for a few, just maybe just a few seconds or a minute maximum. Once the chocolate gets start setting, that's the time to cut the chocolate using temperates. All right, that should be good. Of course, there's always need a little bit of knocking. That's it, I put this in here. Next one. Nice and flat. So, as you see over here, there is slightly getting over the mat. So what I like to do, I'm gonna put this in the fridge for just a couple of seconds, all right? Just a couple of seconds. Okay, it was only just about 10 seconds I kept it in the fridge. So first I like to cut this one. I put this here. All right, using the craft knife. When you use the right time, when chocolate get, just gets set, everything you cut very, very easily. But when you, when you crisp the chocolate, like uh, getting longer time in the fridge and becomes too hard, then everything will be brittle. So that's one. And two. I can use the front side or the pre-cut. So I touch together so I don't have to cut that part because it's the exact same profile. 
and then this one right in the middle why I do that I'll show you why when chocolate gets set it shrink so in that case we have chocolate in on the on the platform here and there's a plastic underneath so the top part which is the surface of the here uh, they will be shrink better or more and earlier than the lower part. So that caused the slightly bend, all right? So that's why I want to keep these three together in another platform. I'm going to cool this one down uh, quite a lot. So I want that this one bent. So I just want, I like to cut also this part here a little bit more free the, the, the platform here like this. And then this is like that. And then this like that. I put this in the fridge quite longer. It will bend slightly, which I'm looking for because those wings also in the airplane, this one also is slightly bent. It. So I'm going to get this naturally. All right. I go back to the fridge uh, to do this. And then this one I will use the rest of it. So that will be one of this and two of this. And after that, one of this and two of this. So when I'm ready, I'll let you know. Okay, one more time. Uh, it has already came out from the fridge. As you see that it's slightly bended, like slightly, slightly like this, everything nicely bended. This is exactly what I'm looking for. And the, all the rest of it, when I go one more time, go through. I think I said something wrong just now. This one is like this, one. And then because it's a top piece, there is no cut. There's no cut here, all right? And second one is at the bottom. Because it's gonna be like that slightly, and I have already pre-cut this part. And also that one's here, that is one, one and two. It will also bend it, so I will also pre-cut exactly from the right spot. So we don't have to break it later on, All right? Just cut like this, All right? That's already good. So that is done, that is done. This one is like this here, that's one. And as you see over here also, Connecting connecting sticks over here. That one I cut it from anywhere. Just wherever I can find the find the location. I just cut the stripes and also bend also cut slanting slanting like this because also here is slanting. All right, and then this one also one and two here. So all the pieces are done here, but I don't want this one bended. So what I do, I just put a kind of platform on it like this, and then put some weight on it and put it in the fridge and let it set as straight. That one is bended because purposely I want it bended. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pipe a couple of pieces. It's still missing. So that is will be the, the wheels and then the propeller and then the back wheel over here. I'll show you how to do it. All right, my usual uh, cellophane cone, cut in half, like that. All right, now I put a piece of uh, cellophane sheet on top here. Okay, watch this one. I like to make the front. So when I join all those pieces together, the end corner bit at the front, I'm gonna trim a little bit to make it a bit roundish on the corner. That's why I'm gonna cut this also, uh, pipe this on the corner, a bit roundish on the corner here. All right. Just wait till set, all right. And now the wheels. One. So that is the wheels, and then this one is a half. So I'm just going to cut. I'm just going to put something whole piece over here. I'm going to cut this later on. One piece is enough. So basically, these two join together into one sort of bubbly, sort of like air blown uh, tire. All right. Here's already set. This one already set. So let me show you what I do with this. Because I have this frame over here, I'm gonna fill this one up something like really full height. So I create also some height in there. The frame doesn't let this thing grow more than what necessary. Right, I'm just gonna make it as high as possible.
All right, I'm going to also wait for this and wait for this one to set. I'm going to go over one more time. I already did also the propeller one time, just a pipe here, pipe here, one in the center. So uh, on this part here, I have some, some more piece over here, a little bit more in the center to lift up the propeller in the right way. So I'm just going to make one more round here in the middle. All right, that's done. So for the wheels, I'm going to go around circles that represent the, the, the tire, the rubber part of the wheel. So this one will be too big, doesn't matter. So then it will be this one also more in the middle. We could add a little bit more water inside the chocolate to make it a bit more firmer. That will be fine. So that is already, everything is there. I want to do one more thing. So those, those uh, uh, wings of the plane has got joined together also with some uh, wires, so in reality. So I'd like to uh, do that also by just putting some lines over here, chocolate lines, and later on cut and then place it in the right place accordingly. That's also just a preparation. That's it. So I like to set everything and everything, take it out, uh, put on a new platform and it's nice and clean and start assembling everything. Okay, let's start assembling now. Everything what I did, I take them out of the, the platform and then take it out to all the offcuts. I put back in the chocolate and then this is all the things are ready to grab and continue to work with it. So I have a chocolate, uh, I have the top part, which is the cockpit area here. Uh, I may just use this side because other side is much more cleaner. All right, so then I put a little bit of chocolate here, piping. Only this area, all right. Then I take this. We may clean all those things later on. Be a bit patient, be holding for a while. Okay, next one. That's it. Now, the other one. I put also some chocolate here. And pipe on the side here also. That's it. Now, That's it. So I know that this little part, that little sort of like, a, it's not a wheel, it's just like the touching point. I probably, we don't have that, the back wheel on this. Maybe just a little bit of extension, metal extension that it keep the things, keep the plane on the right direction when it's landed. Okay, that one goes here. All right, and this one, uh, just about sort of like a one finger behind here, all right?
I want to have a slightly sort of like a opening up. Looking from the front, that's pretty good. Now we think about how we can make this one uh, much more stronger after this set everything. Now, the whole plane will be held in this two point and just uh, glued with a bit of chocolate here. I want to make this one a bit more stronger. So I like to put from center part, from, from center here, and now one more bar to here, one more bar to here. So just like a V shape. So I cut this one first straight and I take my measurement with this compass, uh, center here a little bit less, a bit less because I want to put another bar in between also. This much is good. So that is about this size. All right, that is one. And I take another one. And that is about this much. All right, now, just take some chocolate here in the middle. All right, some chocolate here and some chocolate there. Then I take this, touch down, let go. And this is too thin. I want to use the thicker one, more stronger. Touch down, and let go. They are good. So I can put one more bar, one more bar between here to there. All right. about this much. Okay, some chocolate here, some chocolate there, and place this one here. Is it straight? Yes it is. So let's do the wheels. As you remember I did two pieces on each side. Okay. That's done. And that's done. So I wait for a while. Then glue exactly that spot. Okay. So this is a nice side outside. I turn on the side here. That's the nicer side. I turn on the side here. All right. Just put a bit of chocolate here. A bit of chocolate here. Both hold at the same time, and then hang on this on this cavity here like this, and wait for a few seconds, and it will hold itself. That's it. So my wheels are ready. One more thing I will do now before I turn over, I'm going to put the 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 lower wing. So just put some chocolate here. Nice and strong. Okay. And then this one goes to like this. right in the middle. All right, we wait for a while and turn over. Okay, let's turn over now. That's it, all holding nicely. The wheels are strong enough to hold a bit, hold the weight. So I'm not very happy with that, uh, the, the, the fold. I want to have a little bit more like this. So I will use some, a uh, bit of styrofoam blocks here and do one trick like that. Like that. Okay, just push this one underneath like this and this one like that. And we have to stable that with some chocolate bars that will hold it together. All right, now I want to have like this one on this side. Okay, and make it straight. 
uncut here, uncut there, another one. Those kind of bars, you don't have to count, you just make it. Uh, that's enough to use for several areas. All right. All right, now. So I want to have this one here and this one in there. All right, to do that, right? Okay, just pipe here a little bit and pipe here a little bit. And put it back. That will stabilize the wing in the right, right angle. That's already good. One more. Some here. Some there. That's it. Right. Okay. Now, these guys. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. All right. Now, first thing is, I'm going to put one here and one there. Right. Like this. Position. Position. That's done. Another one here. Position. Done. All right. Now, next thing is, I need another four. One, two, three, four. All right. So, according to this this plan here, I can see the position here approximately. One is there. Another one is there. All right. Done. Perfect. Now, while this is setting, I like to do this. I like to refresh my cone now. I have a new cone, let's continue now. So I just pop a little bit in the center here like this. Like that. And then put this one here. Make sure in the center, it is in the center. So I like to show you what I do with this, with this stuff, okay? Cut in half, comfortable amount. All right, good. So I like to get one piece from here till there. Okay, let's take one, touch here, and rest on the other side. Okay, again, one dot here. My con doesn't listen my instructions again. One dot here, one dot there, grab one. In one shot, you touch down here and rest on the other side, okay? Now I like to get from, from here to there, all right? One dot here, one dot here. Then get grip one here and uh, touch here and rest here. Great. Another one is one dot here.
Öppna det igen. Tack för att du har One dot here. One dot there. Grab one. Again, touch there. And rest there. Okay, now I like to do one from here to there. You can use the same thickness when you're doing like a chocolate ship or something, like a chocolate boat will be perfect. Okay, is it enough? Yeah, I think it's enough. Yeah, otherwise it will be too crowded, that's okay. So what you do after that, you chop this one, just break it, break this, break this, break that, break that, and break that. You're ready. So then, I like to put the front side first. So as I said, that is the a bit roundish in this corner here. All right, I'm just going to chop slightly here, like that, slightly here, to turn this a little bit more roundish. All right, and this one. That's it. Then get some chocolate here. Uh, tell you what, um, I'm gonna have another cone and stick that my uh, propeller on it and then glue it after that. Okay, I just placed my cone another 10 seconds in the microwave. We're all good now. So I just put a little bit more chocolate here. All right. All good. Let's glue this one first. Perfect. And then use your finger to clean up that too much chocolate around of it. Make sure it doesn't fall off. Okay. You can always trim also with the with the uh, blade. Nice and do some cleaning over here. All right. Done. Then pipe a little bit of chocolate in the center, just a dot, and then get the propeller and stick it on it. Not so geometrical, not so uh, straightforward, like 45 degrees would be good. Come on. Stay. Yeah. That's good. Now last thing is Put some chocolate here, some chocolate here, some chocolate here, here, here. Don't take the whole day because this one will dry otherwise. Here and there. Grab the other one and place it on top here. A bit more frontal, of course, like a bit more here to me, all right? As you see from the side, that's not on top of it, it's more front of. All right, it's all touching beautifully. Have a little bit of help. So we can remove this one now. Uh, let me clean up a little bit and I have a few more words with you. So it is all finished. Uh, let me just turn around again a little bit. You can see it from this camera. All right. So it is almost impossible to make this kind of chocolate piece uh, without finger, finger marks because especially that the compound chocolate will softer than will be softer than normal curvature and then will have some finger marks but it is not a problem because you can solve those problems uh, just using this three dollar uh, worth of uh, oil spray can uh, from about 30 40 centimeter away spray a little bit like this and after that you take a gentle brush and then go over it you will have a very shine very nice shine it will maintain about a day or two 
and also you will get rid of all the finger marks. So this plane I make out of chocolate. You can also, of course, use pasta diash to do that. Then you can make different colors. You can make a maybe red baron uh, plane or any kind of like a, you can put marks and writings or whatever you want. And uh, if you like to make it larger or smaller, you just print the plane larger or smaller. It would be also possible. And you can also, of course, put more details on it, like exhaust pipes missing over here. You can put some uh, lines representing stitch marks. You can do whatever you like with that. Basically, the proportion is correct, so that will be all good for you. So, uh, that is all for today, guys. I hope you like it. I hope also my friend Don will like it. And uh, God bless you all. Thank you so much for your time today. And uh, don't forget, please, to uh, like, share and subscribe to stay tuned with us. Until to my next tutorial, bye for now.